Hey guys, I am a little bit disheveled this morning. I got three and a half hours of sleep and I, <laughs> I promised myself that I would record a video this week, at least one. And there's actually two that I'm hoping to get out today. So let's see what happens. But this video is my most anticipated reads of 2019. These are not books that are coming out. These are books that I've had on my shelf that I really want to get to. So I'm just going to get right into it because I do not have the mental capacity for any more chit chat. <laughs> so the first one is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. And I am so ecstatic. I like really want to read this one. I've had it. I've like opened it a few times. Like Maybe I'll just start to read it, but I was like in the middle of other stuff. So I'm really excited. It's actually a, looks like it may be a choice for one of my Facebook book club groups, Facebook book club. Anyway, looks like it might be the choice for February. So this is hopefully going on my February TBR. Okay. The next one is one that I thought for sure I was going to read last year. I picked it up several times. Again, didn't read it though. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Again, three and a half hours of sleep. My normal functioning is six and a half. So, yeah. Anyway, this one. I'm so excited to read this one. It is one that I may end up saving because it just seems like such a good fall read. But um, we'll see. My excitement may get to me. Uh, this one. This was also one. Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. Thought for sure I was going to read it last year, but I didn't. It's just so big. So, like, I kind of want to change my reading goal to a page goal because <laughs> I have so many big books that I want to read this year. And I'm just like, uh, maybe should have thought my reading goal through better. <clears throat> the next one is Pachinko by Min Jin Lee and this is just one that I've heard a lot of good things about and it like it seems like it's it would be an awesome book um it just really calls to me so I'm just really excited for this one I don't know when I'll get to it some of them I have a plan for like what month TBR but that one I don't the next one is The Boy on the Bridge by M.R. Carey and so I read huh and I have it up here the Girl with All the Gifts, and Fellside. I absolutely adored The Girl with All the Gifts. Like, I read through that so fast. Fellside was a little bit different. Like, I didn't instantly fall in love with it, but I did end up enjoying it a lot. And I did, there were parts that I was just like, oh, I have to keep reading. It just wasn't as, like, I don't know. I wasn't as obsessed with it as I was with The Girl with All the Gifts. Um, so, anyway... I haven't read this one yet, and um, it's another kind of post-apocalyptic, it seems like it'll be similar to The Girl with All the Gifts, so I'm really excited, and I really want to read this one. That may be a fall one, too, or a summer. This next one is definitely a summer book. Like, I want to read this immediately. As soon as it starts getting a little bit sunny outside, I get it. spring, maybe, maybe spring, like, oh, adventure. Um, so this is... Brave Story by Mayuki Miyabi. Miyuki Miyabi. Anyway, this one I just found randomly. Like, I hadn't heard anything about it. I was at the store, and I was like, this looks like a really good book. And I'm really excited to read it. And I'm sorry, I'm not giving any descriptions because mental capacity. But also, that's, like, too much. <laughs> But anyway, a lot of these are ones that, like, people should already know about. Brave Story is a little bit different. Maybe I'll give you a description. Okay. Young Wataru flees his messed up life to navigate the magical world of Vision, a land filled with creatures both fierce and friendly. His ultimate destination is the Tower of Destiny, where a goddess of fate awaits. Only when he has finished his journey and collected five elusive gemstones will he possess the demon's bane. The key that will grant him his most heartfelt wish. The wish to bring his family back together again. It just seems really interesting. And if you see, like, the back artwork is just like, what are these creatures? What is this world? Like, I'm so fascinated by the artwork. Um, and there's not, like, artwork in it. There is a map, though. So, anyway. 
it just looks like a fun adventure story. Something that like I would want to read and then go out on my own adventure, go hiking or something. Okay, so the rest of the books that I'm really excited for are kind of cheaty. Because I, I said I was going to make a list of 10 most anticipated reads from my shelf. But all of the rest are trilogies. <laughs> and actually some of them have others. They started out as trilogies, but some of them have um, additional like fourth stories now. But I have all the trilogies and that's it. So, first one. The Farseer Trilogy by Robin Hobb. Beginning with The Assassin's Apprentice. So... I have never read any Robin Hobb, and I'm actually getting into adult fantasy. Like, at the end of last year, I started, like, watching booktube and was like, hey, there's so much adult fantasy. Oh, my goodness, doggies. There's so much adult fantasy that I haven't even, like, touched on. So, I decided, I like, I've read Game of Thrones and, like, maybe a few other here or there. But, so I decided Robin Hobb was a must read and that I was going to start with this trilogy. Okay. The next one is the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson, starting with Mistborn. <laughs> so I am super excited for this one because I have heard so many good things and Brandon Sanderson in general. So I have some of his other books and I almost included them. Um, like the way of Kings, I almost included that in this, but I was like, let me just choose my introduction to the author and it's going to be the Mistborn series. So there's that. <sighs> the next one is bigger. It's an Ember in the Ashes trilogy by Sabah Tahir. So I have all three, and I actually was recently told that apparently there's a fourth book coming out, and that the third book ends where, like, you need a fourth book. So I'm kind of excited, and I'm kind of glad that I waited to read this one because I'm like, well, I would hate to be, like, left with that, you know, edge of the seat, like, oh my gosh, need to finish. So I'm actually kind of glad that I waited because I'm just going to burn through these and then get the fourth one so many books okay oh and then this last trilogy which technically isn't a trilogy they've come out with a fourth and actually i think more but i don't i don't know if they're official i need to do my research but for some reason i'm really excited so <clears throat> it's sabriel by garth nix and i have the trilogy here um, Sabriel is something that I read. It's like the first fantasy novel that I really read. Um, I think I was in like fourth or fifth grade and I just loved it. Like I devoured it and I never went back and like reread it and read the rest. So I am so excited to go back, reread this and continue on with the trilogy. So I think... I'm sorry, there were some honorable mentions. Yes, there were some honorable mentions that didn't get included on this list for various reasons. The first one, Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo or Lee Bardugo. Um, <clears throat> I love Six of Crows and I have been waiting to read Crooked Kingdom. I was expecting to get it as a gift and didn't. <laughs> So, like, I've waited through, like, two birthdays and two Christmases now, and I'm just like, okay. So, and it's not a big deal, but, like, I didn't want to get it for myself because I thought there was someone that was going to get it for me. So, <laughs> I've decided I'm going to just get it, and I'm going to read it, and I'm so super excited for it. But since I don't have a copy yet, it didn't get included on this list. So the other, there's two more honorable mentions. The other one is, hmm, it's kind of hard to see, but I have my Leviathan Wakes, my Expanse series. Ooh, right there, see? Um, so I stopped in the middle of Nemesis Games, which is the fifth book, um, because I had a really hard time with one of the character arcs and their story. And a lot of the focus is on that character. I just, I don't know. I'm just not that interested in that storyline. 
And since the book focuses on that, I just never really finished it. So my goal this year is to finish it because I saw that the seventh book is out and I already had the sixth book. So I have two more books after this one and I love the world itself. Like I love the universe. I love everything about it. So I really want to get back into it. So that is my goal and I'm really excited. I'm just not really excited for the one that I have to go back and finish. So anyway, and then the final honorable mention is rereading the Harry Potter series. I have, I used to read it like every year. I, I feel like a lot of people do that. So I used to reread it around the holidays every single year. Like it was just something I did and I've taken a couple years off. So I'm really excited to get back to that. And then I'm, it's looking like it's going to be a series that I'll be reading with a book club. But so there's like, I'm excited for that because I want to discuss it with new people. And I also, I want to listen to a, a read-along type podcast, like, that dissects the chapter. So as I'm reading, I'll pause and then go listen to the podcast and see what their input is. I think I actually have two podcasts like that. So I'll have to decide if I'm going to listen to both of them or just, like, start with both and then decide which one's better. But anyway, sorry, this is so long. I'm excited to be reading with the book group, but at the same time, I'm concerned that I'm going to start reading and then not be able to slow down and I'll be done in like, I don't know, within a month <laughs> and like we would be reading one a month instead. Maybe I'll suggest to the book group that we do more than one, especially like the first three. I feel like the first three should be a month and then like as we get to the bigger books. Interesting. I'm glad I thought of that. I might talk to them about that. But anyway, so <laughs> those are my most anticipated books of 2019 that I already own, minus Crooked Kingdom, which was just an honorable mention anyway. All right. Until next time. I will, I will include, that's what I was going to say. I'm sorry. I will include the um, Goodreads links for all of these books at the bottom of this video just in case you want to go look them up because I am a terrible um, person, <laughs> announcer, um, presenter. <laughs> I'm just, I'm delirious. So anyway, until next time.